Welcome back to Ballhead and Metal Guys, and welcome back to another reaction from Ignea with their song Alga, which is coming to you by a way of a Patreon request. Uh, I did like the first song, I really enjoyed it. Let's see how this one's going to kind of turn out and what it's going to entail. Uh, I do enjoy some symphonic metal. And I would also like to ask you guys your re reaction requests for other songs you'd like to see on this channel. Uh, I try to get through them as well, so... Let's see different, nice, different variety of songs you would want to see. And that being said, let's jump into the reaction, see what we got, see if I like it. But it feels almost like like a movie score, very epic the way it's beginning. So far, I gotta say, that transition from the symphonic element into the metal was a nice transition. But you can also tell that it was written by this orchestra and probably directed by the band Ignea how they would want it to sound and where it wanted it to be. But you can see a difference, kind of a drastic difference of thought, almost it's, like, that it's not made by the same person. You know, like that's like, the first thing that kind of hit me. But it, it really transitions nicely and it sounds like a whole piece so far, and so far, pretty good. I like it. It's groovy. It has this nice groovy riff in that main bridge area. Her vocals are wonderful. The way she's singing that bass line during the vocals was awesome. So far, I'm liking like the mixing, the, the songwriting. It doesn't seem to be any fat on the song, and everything just matches really nicely. And her kind of even tone that she's doing, I think, is really working here.
You know, I, I, where, where I think it's such good songwriting in this particular song is the metal part is purposely simplistic to have a very nice groove, very nice kind of hand banging moment, and you kind of getting into the rhythm. It's not overcomplicating itself. But the symphonic parts is where it builds this complexity. And as well as the keyboardist, actually, it builds nice complexity to the song and layering, along with her vocals, which I think the lyrics, from what I can tell, you know, leave us alone, this is our home, uh, being probably lyrics. I think you guys mentioned they're either Polish or Ukrainian, so it would make sense, perhaps, those lyrics, or perhaps it's a kind of fantasy story. I don't know. I'm just kind of pulling at strings here. How dare you, godless bastards, step on my land? How dare you touch my daughters and sons? This will be your last test unless you do. Really awesome keyboard solo with that heavy riffing. Love it. You can tell they're inspired by Epica, very, very much so in their music, uh, but sounds different enough. Again, a perfect blend of don't have to reinvent the wheel to be great. And this is pretty great. I'm actually quite enjoying this. This one I enjoyed more than the first one. Way, way, way more. Um, let me know, guys, what your thoughts are as well on this particular band. Let me know what your request, uh, reaction requests are for this channel. And most of all, guys, make sure to take care of yourselves. Stay safe out there. Keep it metal, and for good measure, check out my Patreon down below.